know, like, that's, no, like, that's bullshit. It's like, it's the thought, like, that's where it's the thought that counts probably came from. Like, it's not like, oh, I, I was in the store and I saw this plastic boot and I thought of you and I almost got it and I had this text on the, oh, well, it's the thought that counts. Like, no, that's bullshit. It's more about that. It's like, it's like, hey, I really want to have sex with you, but I decided to masturbate to you instead. But, because it's the thought that counts, right? It's, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> George, guys. I do believe we all have a date next week to come here, baby George's cum stories. Right here. I love too how like when baby George was describing alpha males, he was using like the puniest voice like Oh, and you hunt and gather for your family, and you battle other hunter <laughs> Like, oh, do you, do you murder things to provide for your family? Um, what are you guys going to wear to Baby George's Thumb Stories next week? Should we, like, coordinate our outfits, maybe? I'll probably wear this. Um, we'll start a Facebook message thread. The next guy coming to the stage, is uh, he's been here a couple times and now he's been here one more time. Everybody, please welcome the very funny Michael B. Thank you, sir. If I give it up to Tom again, and never, never forget a tip for bartenders and waitresses and anybody in the service industry because corporate America is bearing down on all of us. I'm just trying to thank you. I wonder if Mr. Rogers had met a drunk biker friend of mine. It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. A wonderful day in the neighborhood. It's a mighty motherfucking fine ass day in the neighborhood. Ha! <laughs> a friend of mine used to say that quite a bit when he was drunk. At those long biker parties where you see the sun come up the next morning. Yeah, all you had to do was you see Jeff standing over there kind of bobbing a little bit and all you had to go was It's uh and he'd chime out, Oh my motherfucking fine ass day in the neighborhood. Huh Um Let's talk about people with a little bit of a weight loss. I don't have one really. Some people think I do, but you imagine Michael Jackson staying alive and being uh Elvis Presley like Oh, that didn't work. Man, I'm saying ain't fast enough. But anyway, but Matthew McConaughey, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, I'm going to have to look at the note tonight a little bit. Okay, um, I got to thinking the other night. I'm thinking, you know how they say men are dogs and women are cats? In a sense. Yeah, yeah, well. I'm thinking men are a little bit more like cats in a sense because not, you know how you can scratch a cat right in front of his tail and that tail is just straight up. Alright, well scratch a man right in front of his tail and see what he does. Very similar, very similar. Um, my granddaddy told me one time, I, I asked him, well I asked him first before he told me of course. Granddaddy, why is the, why is the dog lift his leg to pee. He said, easy, son. It knocks his ass out of gear, so he won't shit at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he used to drive a truck. You probably look at me and never guess. Still have my commercial license, but it's just gotten real ridiculous out there on the road. But anyway, um, the favorite truck stop I used to go to in Atlanta, Reason being, there was a bar about two blocks away. So I go to the truck stop, drop my trailer, pull back up behind the bar, and go in, drink, and run across some people. And the good thing about a truck is like a camper. You can jump up in, and, you know, you get drunk, go to the truck, sleep, don't have to go anywhere, don't have to drive. And you get high, you go up there and get high. And me and another driver in it, we're sitting up there in the truck getting high. Lo and behold, this building behind the bar, turned out to be a veterinarian clinic. The guy walks out, 
Everybody, most everybody in here knows that a blue Doberman Pinscher is usually a big dog. It's about this tall. Yep. And this guy walks out holding this doby, and he's stiff as a board and dead as a doornail. Throws the dog in the dumpster. And I could imagine the amount that he charged these people to either bury or whatever. So after he went back inside, I looked at the guy, and, and I'm telling you, I, I used to get real high. I looked at him and said, watch this. I got out, dug the dog out of the dumpster, and went. Now, of course, I put my, my fueling gloves on so I didn't have to touch the dog. And I go up to the side of the building of the bars here, and right here at the corner, I put that dog right there. And then I pulled his, pulled his upper lips and jaw off him so he looked like he was snarling really bad. Got back up in the truck and I'm sitting there, rolled the window down. People come around the corner, I go, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> These people were just, they just almost dropped dead. They were so black. It just was the funny, me and this guy were just, just I tell you, that was the funniest afternoon that we had ever had. Sun went down. He went back in, I drove back over to the truck shop, and that dog was still there the next morning when I left. Can you imagine the rest of the night, people really drunk, stomping around, whether it was growling or not, it was going to scare the hell out of them. So, uh, y'all know how you can tell someone's from southern Mexico? They say, como side, y'all. <laughs> um, everybody familiar with the Jesus statue behind the Basilica over here next to the Civic Center? Yeah. I wanted to put a, a Santa hat on it in Christmas and Easter, Easter Bunny ears on it at Easter, but I, I really think somebody needs to hang a growl or a beer off that. Because the guy was known for turning water into wine. And I call him Shrugging Jesus because He's, he's standing there like this, going, what the fuck? You know, he's just looking at traffic on 240 and craziness. What the fuck? But I guarantee you, when widespread panic was playing there, he was saying, it's a mighty motherfucking fine-ass day in the neighborhood. Ha! 